Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R, which is the application that I will be using to write and execute Python code throughout this course. So the first thing you want to do is go to anaconda.com. Anaconda is a program that houses sub-programs. It's, like it's called a package manager. And one of those sub-programs is Spider. So we're actually going to download Spider indirectly by downloading Anaconda. So you come to anaconda.com and you can click uh, Get Started. And then uh, you can scroll all the way down here to install Anaconda Individual Edition. You're an individual, you're a student, so you get this for free. So you can click that and, uh, and then click Download. And that will, well, let's do it. Click Download. And that takes you down here. And so you have to choose your, your machine. Do you have Windows or Mac or Linux? And if you have Windows, you have to figure out, do you have a 64 or 32-bit uh, machine? For Mac, you do you want the graphic installer? You probably want the graphic installer, not the command line installer. And Linux, you have some options there as well. So you'd click on one of these guys, and I'm not going to do that because, of course, I have it downloaded already. So again, this is to download Anaconda, which is a package manager. So once you download Anaconda and you open it up, you might have to re um restart your computer. You'll see this window upon opening it up and you'll notice that uh, to the right here is this application Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R. And there are other applications here but uh, the Spider is what we're going to use. So I'm just going to click on launch and I've already got it launched and what we see when we do that is this window. This is the default uh, setting and everything. So uh, this is really nice. This, ha this is our integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short. And it's integrated because it has the editor to the left, that's the big white window on the left, and then it has the console with the interpreter at the bottom right. And so the console, you know, takes the inputs where we can we can just type a command and then it will give us the outputs. We can see what the those commands did. Whereas the editor, remember we, uh, we write all of our lines of code in the editor, and then we can run the program and all of those lines would get executed. And then in the top right uh, is a window with several tabs, Variable Explorer, File Explorer, and Help. Help might be the default. Uh, I never use this window though. To me the Variable Explorer window is the most helpful so I'll click on that and uh, that's usually what I'll have displayed here is the Variable Explorer. So um, we'll talk more about Variable Explorer in the future videos. And File Explorer will show me all of the different files that I have currently uh, at my, in my current working directory. And current working directory is given by this thing up here. Um, you know, it's, it's slash user slash Paul slash desktop in my case. So uh, if you're creating a file or a directory to house all of the Python files that you write in our course, then you might want to change this you know, um, to that directory. And then just one more note here, it says Python 2.7. That's because right now I'm showing you this on my Mac, which is out of date. But uh, in, in the future videos, when we actually get to programming, I'm going to change up to my Windows machine, which is uh, 3.6 3 or 3.7, I think. So we want Python 3. And then um, just one last uh, bit of information. If you want to change some of your preferences or your settings, you can do that in the, in the toolbar up here, or the menu bar. Um, I, for instance, like black background and then uh, so I'm going to change that to black and then you can move your windows all around if you want the editor somewhere else or if you want the console somewhere else uh, you have all of those options to, to be able to move those around as you like. Alright so in the next video now we have our tools right and so we are ready to get started with Python programming. Thank you.